Chaplain When the curtain rose, the crowd saw a small boy named Chaplin. He started singing as the music played. The crowd enjoyed his performance. Oh, you are a talented boy! In 1899, Chaplin was born in the southern region along the Thames River. His dad passed away when Chaplin was still young. His mom sang and danced at concerts to make money to support her children. Chaplin and his brother Sidney were always alone in the house. Wake up, Chaplin! It's time to eat breakfast! Chaplin's mother developed a sickness in her throat, so she couldn't sing anymore. She sewed clothes to earn money. But sad things happened to Chaplin's family after a few years. His mother collapsed and was hospitalized. Chaplin and his brother were sent to a pauper school. There was food and a place to sleep, but Chaplin felt very lonely because he and Sidney couldn't live together. By a miracle, his mother recovered her health, and the Chaplin family was reunited. Chaplin started acting in 1897. He was also chosen to be a member of a dance troupe. He entertained many people. Soon, Chaplin wanted to become an actor. One day, Chaplin's mom was hospitalized, and Chaplin was alone again. He really wanted to become an actor, so he went to the owner of a theater in London and asked him for a chance. I am an actor. I want to work here, sir. What he was wearing wasn't nice, but at least he was a handsome boy. Sure, come work here. Chaplin played the role of a servant in his first acting performance. How can I help you, sir, ma'am? I'm always prepared to serve you. He was an excellent actor who caught the eye of many audience members. After acting for more than two years, he performed in other theaters together with his brother. Chaplin was able to show himself in Silent Comedian. The theater gained much popularity during this time. In 1910, Chaplin performed the role of a drunken man, which impressed everyone. Chaplin, you are the best actor I've ever seen! In 1913, Chaplin seized the chance to appear in a movie. However, he wasn't confident just yet, and he decided to get used to the studio first. The first movie he saw was titled Earning Living Expenses. The audiences liked Chaplin's movie very much and thought he was the best comedian ever. As time passed, he appeared in more movies. He was loved more by the audience when he acted as a wanderer Charlie in Wanderer. He not only acted, but also directed his movie. For this reason, he was called a brilliant movie maker. He moved his company to Chicago and made lots of money in theater. Nevertheless, there were many rules to follow for making a movie which left him with little time to spend on actually making a good movie. Also, his organization was poor, so that it didn't have enough money to spend on his work. Fortunately, there were many good actors. In 1914, World War I broke out. Everywhere there was sorrow. I should make people feel happy and smile. Chaplin continued to work with his own company and made many movies. He was able to make his first movie with his own company titled Immigrant. In 1918, Chaplin made a movie called Shoulder Gun. This movie showed and described horrible moments of the war. 
Before this movie was released, people wondered, how will he make us happy with that theme? But Chaplin wanted to show the laughter inside the grief is more valuable than any other humor. The movie was amazingly successful. Then, personal tragedy struck him when his mother died. Chaplin was really sad, but he didn't forget about his position as a movie maker. He was able to make more and more movies that were remarkable. Sound films appeared in the movie industry, but Chaplin kept making silent films. He believed that many different kinds of people would understand better without sound. A movie should be clear and understandable for all people on Earth. He was a stubborn movie maker. Unemployment is a serious problem. Mankind will develop machines, but this development shouldn't make a tragedy of increased unemployment. Chaplin expressed his political and social opinions in his movie, which was titled Modern Times. It was the last silent film that Chaplin made. In 1938, another war took place. Chaplin made his first sound film titled Dangerous Dictator. This movie indirectly insulted Hitler. Communists are also human. They will feel so much pain when they lose their arms or legs. That time, he married a woman named O'Neill, who was the daughter of the great writer Eugene O'Neill. One day, Mikasi, one of the members of Congress, announced the lists of the communists living in U.S. Chaplin's name was also included in the list. I can't believe it. Why are you saying this? Chaplin couldn't believe the situation, but he agreed to leave America and settled in Switzerland. Chaplin was given an award by the Association of World for Peace. By this time, Chaplin had proved that he wasn't a communist. People missed him a lot. Chaplin received much love and many accolades from his fans in the U.S. Chaplin started writing books based on the events that happened in his life. He managed to write a book without anyone's help. The last movie made by Chaplin was titled Contessa of Hong Kong. Chaplin was interviewed before the last movie was released. I can still make people laugh for two or three times. When Chaplin was preparing for his last movie, he heard that his brother died. Chaplin had no parents or siblings left now. When he became 77 years old, he released his last movie, Contessa of Hong Kong. In 1975, he was assigned to be a knight of Elizabeth II, so he was called Lord Charlie Chaplin. It was Christmas Eve. Chaplin's health was bad, but he was content because he felt the love of his family. The next day, his family went into his room to greet him for Christmas, but they found him already dead. A man who shared much fun and comfort had passed away. <laughs>